Hello and welcome to Blues View. I'm Paul Bradley and I'm joined on the phone by Birmingham City correspondent Colin Tatum. Hi, Colin. Hello. Now, you were at last night's game. Um, what was your, your verdict on it, first of all? It was uh, nearly another great comeback. Yeah, it was. And, and like the West Ham match, it was a very strange game as well. Um, for 60-odd minutes, uh, Blues just weren't at the races. And I think a couple of things there. You've got to give credit to Stoke. They were aggressive, dynamic uh, they got their wide players involved, um, and they were first to everything. Uh, and Blues were, were basically passengers and just couldn't get anything going uh, in the attacking third. Um, by and large, they had defended the set pieces and the crosses very well until right at the death of the first half, and then and then they sort of crumbled a little bit. But as you mentioned, um, changes came. Uh, the formation was altered slightly, and then all of a sudden they woke up two goals in two minutes, and you felt that they were going to go on. Uh, and if not draw the game, uh, win the game. But again, a um, bit of carelessness for the, for, the, for the winning goal and a little bit fortuitous for Stoke. But I think Stoke will rightly argue that overall they deserved uh, the victory. And as far as Blues are concerned, uh, they've, they've got some hard thinking to do because they cannot uh, keep tr- trying to rouse themselves from 2-0 down because um, they might find one day that the game is well beyond them by the time they get to that point. Yeah, so I suppose fans will be looking at the table now, seeing that they're just one place above the drop zone. Um, and that's going to be more and more important now for Alex McLeish's men to make sure they don't start going goals down in games, so that they need the fans behind them uh, to, to get them through this tricky period, really. Yeah, absolutely. And, and with Manchester City and Chelsea coming up, then you know they could easily um, be in that bottom three for a, for a number of weeks. And that's the time when it, you know, you, you can't afford to panic. You've got to stay, stay true to what you believe in. But ultimately, you know, the manager will be judged on the results and, and the players will be judged on their performances. And, and they have to stop uh, conceding, as, as Alex McLeish says, um, pretty sort of spawny goals, um, but also engineer a system and, and, and get some creativity going and, and, and some, some legs and dynamism into the team that will give them uh, a, a chance to actually sort of be proactive rather than reactive. Now, Keith Fahey came on uh, last night and he seemed to change things around a bit. Would that be, be fair to say that he had a, a decent impact on the game? Yeah, he did. And I think the, the team that started, uh, I can't see that most people would complain about because I think we all wanted to have a look at John Beausejour. Um And for me, he, he was terribly disappointing. He was like a rabbit trapped in the headlights. And um, McLeish, Alex McLeish, then changed it, brought Keith Fahey on, flattened out the midfield a bit. And, and Keith has had a bit of stick, but he was, he was excellent last night. He really injected a bit of uh, oomph into the team and also some quality. He scored a smashing goal and provided some good passes and some good balls and made some very uh, good forward movements. Um, but again, it, it counts for nothing if you can't at least hold on to the draw and, and you sort of fall to the sucker punch uh, as Blues did it right at the very end. Well, after the game, we caught up with Alex McLeish, Birmingham City manager. Never really get going. They went, they got on top of us. They pressed us. I thought it unnerved us, and uh, I felt we didn't handle it well. We didn't show the composure. The, the, our passing was all over the place. Their midfield four were better than ours for that first 60 minutes until we made the change, and then. We looked a different team. Keith Fry gave us some impetus and had a really, really positive game. It's great to see Keith in that kind of form. It's a little bit bittersweet. The fight back was brilliant. Shots at goal. Gardner was beginning to make an impact. And as I said, I, I thought we were definitely going to win it. Just felt that we had that momentum. And, you know, the free kick stopped our momentum. And, but for us to lose it from there, was was very very poor, and that's why we we are where we are on the table because we've lost too many goals in that kind of manner this season. That was Birmingham City manager Alex McLeish. Okay, um, well we'll see. The, the next few fixtures you said are fairly tough for Blues. Um, what's what's kind of the mood in the camp now at, at the moment so that the, after the game when uh, when you spoke to some of the players and the manager? Well, they're a proud bunch, we know that, and, and it's hurting them as much as it's hurting um, the supporters. Um, 
I, I think we can all see that there's not things that are drastically wrong, but there are things that aren't right that, that do need to be addressed, and whether that can only happen with the influx of uh, quality players and, and sort of people to to get some athleticism in the team. That only time will tell, but at the moment they haven't got the time and they just got to keep their heads going and, and, and keep the solid base, stop conceding daft goals and make sure they can use that as the platform and then hopefully, like they did last season, um, get things turning for them uh, in the opposition box. But um, at the moment, you know, Alex McLeish is still struggling to get that right formula and some of the players aren't in the best of form at the moment and, and some aren't quite fit. So... It's all, all conspiring and transpiring for to, to make it a very tricky next few weeks, and obviously in the run up to the uh, to the big uh, Carling Cup quarter final against Villa. So at least that's on the horizon. That could be some sort of saver for Blues, but um, you know they do need to sort of get a couple of wins on the board because that's the thing that they're drawing too many games and and uh, having to having a mountain to climb in too many games recently as well. Indeed. Well, Colin Tatton, Birmingham City correspondent, thanks very much for joining us again today. Pleasure.